So with that, the rehab must match the surgical procedure. So in our younger, healthy, aggressive um, uh, overhead athlete, we can be more aggressive, right? Greater healing potential, better tissue quality, um, all arthroscopic now, so very little pain and still a really good fixation of the tissue. So the overhead athlete, we can be more aggressive. Again, they have a lot on the line here. They're trying to get back to throwing a baseball, right? That might be their career. So we got to respect that and we got to bring them along slowly, yet we can't affect their range of motion negatively. We got to get their motion back. So we're going to say that the tissue is good, the repair went well, and we got to get their motion back. Again, in that overhead athlete, it's all arthroscopic. So minimal tissue involvement, uh, decreased scarring, decreased pain. Uh, they they do they feel tremendously well after these surgeries after a couple of days versus the mini open or the open procedure back in the day where they would lose range of motion. They'd have to take the subscapularis off to get into the shoulder joint. They'd lose strength. It was disastrous in those early uh, surgeries. But arthroscopic rotated cuff repair and overhead athlete, uh, they can do pretty well. Although you'll see in some of my outcome studies to get back to throwing uh, pain-free at 100%, it's very difficult even in this population. So what do the studies say? Uh, size of the tear, age of the patient, and even their occupation is going to be a risk factor for a recurrent tear. We already know that retear rates are pretty high. You're going to see in the literature retear rates that range probably from 5% to 95%. Um, which is a crazy range, but it just seems like um, these surgeries, the retail rates, because we're able to recognize it so much better on an ultrasound or an MRI that we know it occurs more readily. That doesn't mean they don't function. That doesn't mean that they have pain. That just means that the tissue did not heal back to the bone as was anticipated. But hopefully there are ways to work around it with their function and their strength to not require a second surgery. But again, size of tear, age of patient, and then what they're getting back to.